I kind of wanted to give the audience time to brace themselves. Oh yeah, and there was another medic I almost When shot. you are thrown into this much unbridled combat immediately as you start the game, you want something to 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 ready. It's like the curtain right before a uh, a Greek play. Yeah, like as if you were flying in a helicopter and you get shot. Mm -hmm. You, you need some warning before you crash the helicopter. Right. And I believe if I was in a helicopter that was crashing, I would also see the words NAM flash in my face right before we hit the earth. Yeah. I'd probably see this game and... Oh, you 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 see the title of the level every time I reload, so that's what it's all about. What the hell did I do there? I have no idea, but you know what? It didn't seem like you got too far, so I think you were fine. Yeah, I... Yeah. Although, I, I gotta say, the, the music you chose for this part specifically is pretty much spot on. This does seem like a, a hoedown. Yeah. Basically, this is the part that, that the developers have clearly given up. <laughs> I kinda let, let loose on my requirements of the music. I, I chose blues and rock for the first video and... I couldn't find more, find more easily, so I just went for country. For oh, sure. Because why not? Uh, what, what, what? Uh, right oh, there. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I picked up a crate there, mm -hmm. and uh, it was medical supplies there. There are both American and Vietcong crates in this game. Oh, here I choose to not go there. Okay. It is a silly place. Yeah. Both of them have sort of random contents, but. Random as no, the wait, wait, random as like random like random by game. There are just a number of things they might have. Oh. Okay. Uh, I think the Vietcom I mean, Vietcom crates sometimes have ammo, but they also might be trapped. Oh man. Or it's a there and there's a bunch of things that are essentially empty. It's kind of a nice touch. So the American ones have ammo or nothing. Oh, here I discovered something that I haven't oh seen God. before, so... This this is basically when you crank up all the... You, when you crank up the gamma, there are basically two colors. Oh, God. This is... This is Again, something. no night vision goggles. <laughs> wow. Damn it. Oh my God, was that... Wait, who, who, who just yelled that's damn it a... to hell? Uh, I think that's bear. Oh, that's bear. Actually, bear talks. In, in yeah, uh, in in the settings you can choose to disable the grunt talk, so they don't even in the settings name our main character. Wow. It's only in the manual. Well, honestly, grunt or bear is both a great nickname for a GI Joe in the middle of Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, th this whole tunnel was kind of useless. Oh, you guys you might find a medical supply crate and lock out, but you, usually you don't. Well, you got some equipment, and I got to hear bear talk, so I think it was all worth it. Okay, yeah. So this part is extra terrible. There, are, there was at least one uh, artillery piece across the river and a machine gun, so this took a lot of tries as well. And they're really trying to defend the, uh, what's over there? Uh, I think this, we are just, we were just shut down and we tried to get back to our own line. Ah, okay. You know, you'd think that the front line would be, you know, against the, the direction where the enemy com <laughs> comes from and not the direction they retreat. Oh, here's our... Oh, well, you were just shooting them, so I'm, I'm glad they still uh, picked you up in their vehicle there. Yeah, you kind of come to expect that nothing is friendly in this game. So here we have two night vision goggles, okay. one of which we can pick up. Also, you notice that the, the charge is 220%. They didn't really change the coding, they just gave it more charge. Okay, sure. Uh, so, is the reason that they put, um, two night vision got does this have, like, a co-op mode? Uh, or any sort of I multiplayer, for that think matter? so. There, there is multiplayer, but 
you know, it's the same as, as Duke Nukem right. 3D, that it doesn't really... It isn't easy to set up, mm -hmm. like, even for the standards of the time. And I'm sure it's just Deathmatch, right? Um... Well, half of the levels in the game are Deathmatch. Okay. So, that's, yeah, that's fine. I know that, that much. Works. Yeah. So, so I used a grenade. They are kind of useful because they're so powerful, but they have like five seconds to use. Oh man. Okay, so you better uh, toss that thing and run. I think that's... Yeah. Yeah. It's supposedly kind of close to what Fuse's American grenades had at the time. But it's way too much in a video game. Yeah. So where are we now, by the way? We seem to be at like some kind of docking uh, yard. Uh, it doesn't say. Okay. It's generic, generic it, urban battlefield number forty-three. Yeah. I think there's one level in the game, the very last one, that's in Saigon, but that's only because it it basically says says that it's Saigon during the Tet Offensive mm. without using any of those words. <laughs> Great. So, uh, how many helicopter crashes have we seen so far? Because it seems like in just about every level we've seen at least one helicopter crash. At least three. Oh boy. So here's I... a gas mine that 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 uh, you could see in the recording, <laughs> yeah. but you know, not. That's just the Duke Nukem the button right there. They didn't even try yeah. on that one. Yeah. There's supposed to be bombs. Oh. Or well, the officer guy says that. Activate the bombs by pushing the button. So I guess the Viet Cong put bombs there and made a big red button that <laughs> blows it up. So it was a tactical mistake. I could, you, yeah. You know, and that's reasonable. Anybody could make that mistake. Right. I mean, sometimes you just leave armed bombs on your vehicles and your equipment. That'll happen. It yeah. happens to everyone. It, it's happened to America. It's yeah. happened. Yeah. I, I hate it when that happens. You know, you save money for the car and you get get a loan and then you act, put a bomb in right. the car. You just accidentally leave it in there, and there's there's not much you can do about it. Yeah. It's happened. It's a it's a universal yeah. thing. It's happened to everyone at least once in their life. Yeah. If someone has left a bomb in their car. Yeah. I mean, just the other day, I was walking out from work. Heading over to my car, and I hear a ticking, and I'm like, oh, oh great, it's another bomb. So, it was, just an it was just another thing that I would have to deal with. Yeah. I, for some reason, decided that I wanted to use grenades a lot in this level, so you can see, see me wait for them to explode. But apparently they did not explode those explosives right there. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, they are plastic explosives, they need a detonator. Mm -hmm. And they weren't destroyed by the grenade or anything. Yeah, it doesn't damage the ammo that they get showered in sharp shrap now. Wow, that was a pretty grisly death when you just shot that uh, soldier back there. Yeah. So, uh, when this game came out, what was it rated like? Very, Very low. low. I think that... Metascore is around 50. Oh, see, I when I looked it up, I saw 39 from Metacritic, but I I didn't know. Oh, uh, I don't I don't I don't really remember. It, it's it's low. I think it's got. Yeah, it it mostly does like around 50, and some people really thought it's garbage because of So I think that I like in this game, but it's when when we recapped it. What we've seen so far, I talked about it more. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is this night vision? Y yeah. I. Uh, it's a level I, I have been. I have been saving them for future disappointment. Oh god, for a moment there I thought you'd suddenly just turned on Predator Vision or something. It's, wow. That's something, alright? Yeah. That's probably. I could. You know, put in. Uh, uh, you know, predator filter and you know, living things are warm, so they show up bright on night uh, on thermal mm -hmm. vision. 
But that's not what those are. Those, those are night vision, right? No. Yeah. But if I use, you know, a, a video editor put in the thermal vision filter, oh, okay. yeah. it look about right. I get you. So, uh, grenades do seem to be pretty useful. It looks like they're really good for clearing out those corners. People, that, they don't run away from grenades, do they? Yeah. You know, Duke Nukem, it's fine because, you know, strong enemies can take multiple explosives and the big, even the weaker enemies aren't, like, in a tight pack and the bombs don't explode. Mm. Uh, the, the explosion isn't so huge. Oh, this is one of those uh, spirals. Okay, this... Yeah. Uh, this is basically unplayable, uh, even when you crank up the heart gamma to maximum. It's... In addition of being ridiculous dogs, they also spawn enemies behind you. They they spawn them as you like pass by. Well. Oh my God! Wow. Yeah, yeah, like that. That that crevice was empty at first, like just just like that one. You're actually gonna see a guy pop in a bit. Wow. You know, there's those tiny crevices in the wall, so I guess they're supposed to come in. Coming from there, but mm -hmm. that's not very convincing. No, not at all. Bear's got quite the uh, potty mouth on him. Yeah, he found wrong ammunition and, and he was very angry about it. You know, he couldn't just pick up an AK from one of these right. guys. Right. That guy right there. Popped yeah, him. I saw that. That was. <laughs> this is me expressing my feelings. <laughs> Oh man, wow, you put some real facts into this, huh? It yeah. almost looks like you put more work into this uh, this this text here than they put into the entire game. Yeah. Oh man, they make you go into water and I everything. got lost in this tunnel because it's completely dark and I get lost easily in water levels for some reason. Wow. This is some game, alright. How, how long is this? Uh, about two hours if you cut off the deaths. Okay. That tank right there, it's invisible and it's straight up the same same like set of sectors as the tank in first level. That was friendly. As far as I can tell, it doesn't represent any tank at all. It kind of has the same turret shape as Soviet tanks at the time, but it, it's too small. Right. Well... A lot of build games have never oh, been really and... known for uh, vehicles having a good length to them, a good scale. Yeah, I suppose that's forgivable. So you... But I don't think it was supposed to be like T54 because the only the only only vehicle in this game that looks anything like the real life counterpart is the M113, which is the Really box like APC because it's really simple sh shape. Yeah. Oh, that guy was, was that guy the final boss? Because he took like three or four shots to kill. No, the damage in the shotgun just drops off really fast because you know it's it's um, it has close to reasonable damage per pillar, but <laughs> but when you use Use it at close range, it does the same damage as everything else. Wow. You got that guy real Except quick. that guy died instantly. You'll also see that I know everything ahead of time, and that's exactly because that's, that's the only way to succeed in this game, is just to know where you are going to be shot from. Well, the first thing they teach you when you learn to design a game is that they, they just need to drill Every single enemy into your yeah. head. You, the game shouldn't play. Yeah. The game shouldn't play fair. Oh, hey, you're back at base. Yeah. Yeah. You, just like, just like you, how you get into, in, in the docks, you, they teleport you in and they just teleport you out. Sure. Oh. That's 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 what the army does. Yeah. The army had teleporting technology back in the uh, Vietnam yeah. War. Yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah. Those rockets, I have no idea where they came from. Uh, they kind of look like they're like rocket art artillery, except 
you know, just no hints of such, such a thing existing in the game. Oh, they were invisible rockets. If we have teleporting technology, we can just teleport at the rocket. Yeah, sure. So we're uh, going to go save some uh, prisoners of war now. Yeah. Right, sure. And the best way to save prisoners of war is just to bomb the, the, the living fuck out of anything around. Sure, surely yeah, you won't I, hit them. Yeah, sure, uh, you know, in, when you plan an assault, you just bomb the area first. That, that's, that's, you know, standard procedure. But you don't have to worry about collateral damage. No way. Oh, is that one of their helicopters over there? Oh no, that's one of ours. No, um... I have no idea what, what, why is that there, because... That's a... There's less ammo than you spend getting to it, in it. <laughs> and... Maybe it could be a captured, like, in story reasons. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's yeah. a captured helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. So they have captured a lot of things. I'm sure they could have figured out how to fly a helicopter and not crash it immediately. Well, I mean, they apparently they were still trying to figure out how to get that one off the ground, because that one wasn't moving. They figured out how to get it on. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, is this the Vietnam prisoner camp here? Well, this is, uh... Not quite okay. yet. Those are some of our friendly soldiers who are doing nothing at all. Yeah. Yeah. Well... I think one guy was you was pretending to operate the motor. Okay. You don't have to go see if you have any effect. Wow. Well, I think there's a reason why the US pulled out of Vietnam, seeing as how well our uh, troops are doing yeah. apparently. Yeah, as it turns out, it didn't really work to put all, all your faith in just one experimental genetic game. Well, they seem to be working out pretty well. I don't know why they just didn't genetically engineer all the rest of them at this point. Yeah, that's pretty true. I'd kind of like to know. Maybe their plan was just to have the one guy do everything, and the rest of them could just, you know, stay in Saigon and and take some heroin and do whatever ever else that soldiers used to do. At the uh, visit the uh, the Joy Division. Yeah. So, um, it's uh, with this game. Yo, oh, okay. Right. Uh, this part is kind of me trying to decide how I want want to show this game. Like, I don't think you're supposed to jump over that wall, but fuck. Okay, sure. So I have a question. Do you, do you like this yeah. game? Is this a game that you enjoy, or is or is this just something that you felt you had to play? Uh, as far as I know, I, to be honest, this oh, is a th this is kind of um, an example of field games. Okay. So it was a good. It was just a good game to like help lead into the rest of them. Yeah. See, when, when you I, mentioned I, this game to me. It was the first yeah. game. They're the first time I, have, I had ever heard of this game. Yeah. I also didn't really remember how bad this game is. Like, I I completed this once before, and I basically couldn't remember anything. I think I should have thought of that as a bad sign. But on the other hand, this is kind of a game that people don't know about, so why not? Well, there you go. See, e e even despite the fact that this game kind of seems just a bit like a steaming pile of trash, at, at least at least yeah. it's being documented and it'll be remembered. Yeah. Tennessee Hay right it's now. It's all bad. It's, it portrays things about the Vietnam War that most games don't, like... Dying without knowing what's happened. <laughs> Dying without knowing what's happened, not being able to see anything, uh, not being able to tell your troops yeah. apart, uh, multiple helicopter crashes, uh, yeah. accidentally setting explosives on your own equipment. 
Yeah. And you know, I, you'll you'll see me shooting trees a lot of a lot of the time. So that's there are trees, snipers in the trees. Is that so. tank bleeding? Yeah. Oh. And I destroyed with six shots with the shotgun. Was shot it gun. also a human who was uh, genetically engineered? Uh, probably. It would make it would make more sense than taking up the tank with a shotgun and tank bleeding. There's also some uh, nice fire graphics on top of the tank, by the way. Yeah, I think that's that's the three artists combining their strength and making that amazing tank. Wow. Actually, shockingly enough, you can't walk through the tank. It's really? Else. All the tank corpses. I kind of expect you to be able to. Yeah, so did I. So, this here is a montage of me not being able to figure out where the things that kill me happen. Well, yeah, that's, that's what Sometimes, uh, sometimes yeah. bombs just blow you up. Yeah, oh, and that tank destroyed itself. It shot the wall and the explosion destroyed it. War is heck. Yeah. Man. This is a battle, right? Oh, and... Uh, yeah. I, I couldn't cut this out, out. This part out. This is just... Too much like this game. <laughs> and me stabbing... Is that just like Death Alley there? Armor. What do you keep getting killed by? Um... Uh, mostly tank, but also artillery. No wait, that was a jet passing by, so I think the Viet Cong are bombing their own troops. Oh. Either that or the Air Force doesn't know that you've already made it almost to the camp and the POE camp and Yeah. Know, well, it I, because that won't kill the prisoners. I, I'm not I'm I'm nothing close to a war historian. Uh but I wasn't actually aware that are we so we're fighting Viet Cong. We're not fighting uh we're not fighting like Vietnamese armed forces, right? Because I wasn't aware that well, Viet Cong you know, had a an air force. Um, I don't really know who's supposed to be up there. Uh, For all intents and purposes, yeah, I'm know. just gonna assume it's our it's our own troops. Yeah, that's probably right. Actually, when you play this game, you know you see the radius and you use them. So you know, you use it and then you just move on and you die immediately on artillery because you would expect that, that you would call the artillery further ahead than where you are currently going. No, no, no. You know, you could, cut off the reinforcements. You call it danger close and you call it right on yourself. That is an, a true... That, uh, that's a true American soldier there. Yeah. Actually, Bear lies into the radio. He says that, you know, he's two clicks southwest of mm -hmm. the target or something and... He's right. Bear, Bear has seen too much war and he's just ready to die. Yeah. He is shell shot. I like to imagine that yeah. uh, this uh, banjo music that's currently playing, the country, is actually what Bear hears in his head at all times. And it's one of the other reasons yeah. he wants to be yeah. it, It's a condition that, you know, uh, quite a few guys develop. They just can't get country music out of My them. My god, war is hell. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of like hemorrhoids. You don't really want to talk about this. So oh yeah, I can understand. You've got quiet. That's horrible. What we what we do to our to our armed forces? We just lead country music in yeah. their heads. So this gun that he's been fighting, I've noticed. So I I was fully expecting your like main weapon in this game to be uh like one of the M16 rifles. You've just been using this as basically an assault rifle this entire game, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. The thing is that all of the weapons in this game are really good, and and the M M16 is just it doesn't have reloads <laughs> and it has the most ammo. It, it, it actually deals more damage than the M16 wow. too. So why use anything else? Apparently so. Yeah, that's kind of realistic. No, yeah, I can I can fully imagine bear just wielding an M60 with one arm and walking through. Oh! Hey, you did it! Yeah. Also, I usually just, you know, mash the use key, hoping for something to happen because 
for whatever reason, the end of the level is delayed there, so... I had to actually take a screen screenshot from the recording and, you know, put, put it back in the, in the ending screens. Well, I said it once and I'll say it again. Warzak. <laughs>